I'm Matt Russo. I'm Andrew Santaguida. And we are System Sounds. System Sounds is a science art outreach project that converts data into music and sound. We started by sonifying astronomical data in 2017. That's when I was finishing a postdoc in astrophysics, and I was struggling with the choice of whether to go into careers in astronomy or music. Luckily, that's when the TRAPPIST-1 solar system was discovered, and it happens to be the most musical solar system ever found. So I teamed up with my bandmate Andrew and another astrophysicist, Dan Tamayo, to convert the rhythm and harmony of the TRAPPIST-1 solar system into music. Since then, we've sonified other planetary orbits and pulsating stars and even images captured by telescopes. We've also done several public exhibits and we often collaborate with NASA to help people experience the wonder of the cosmos through sound. One of the more rewarding aspects of what we do is being able to make astronomy more accessible to those who are blind or visually impaired. We were excited to work on this project because it's unlike anything we've done before. Until now, we focused on exploring the universe on the largest scales. This is our first time exploring the microscopic universe that exists within all of us. In both cases, we can use music to connect people to something that's not part of our everyday experiences. So we met Leo and he shared a wealth of information and a wealth of data for us to explore. Out of all this data, there was one that really caught our attention. And that was a video of genetically modified T cells fighting leukemia. The video takes place in a petri dish where leukemia cells have mutated and are spreading rapidly. Genetically modified T-reg cells, shown in red, recognize molecules on the surface of leukemia cells, which trigger their stimulation. The stimulated CAR-T cells become bigger. They divide and cluster around the leukemia cells to eliminate them. As time goes on, the CAR-T cells will keep multiplying, and they'll destroy more and more leukemia cells. It was kind of like watching a time lapse of this battle happening on the cellular level, and we thought we could help bring it to life by converting this data into sound. So our first job was to extract data from the video itself. The video is actually a series of snapshots taken every few hours. And so we decided to scan each one one at a time to create a rhythmic backdrop for our piece. Our next job was to find a way to hear the clustering and growth of the T cells and hopefully find a, a sonic way to experience the battle between the T cells and the leukemia cells. Our strategy was to scan each image from left to right and let the vertical position of the cells control the pitch of the tones that you hear. The next step was to choose the right sounds for the T cells and the leukemia cells. We chose purer tones for the T cells to make sure that their structure was clearly audible, and then a more noisy bubbly sound for the leukemia to try to invoke the sound of their rapid growth and destruction. We experimented with many different scale and harmonic options for the sound of the T-cells and ended with a kind of open scale, something that's not too resolved. This is because the battle is still ongoing. The T-cells are gaining ground and destroying leukemia cells, but by the end of the video, it's not clear how this battle will turn out. For the ending, we decided to loop and fade the very last frame to evoke a more hopeful heartbeat effect that continues on into the future. And here's the final piece called Inner Space. We hope you enjoy it.
That was awesome. They took these very visceral microscopic interactions and actually gave them a beat. And I really liked how, you know, they sound different, the cancer cell versus the, the fighters, the CAR T cells. And now as they get closer and closer, you see a crescendo uh, right of intensity. And then in the end, you have like this hopeful beat at the end, a bit of like it's synced to your heartbeat, right? Because your heart pumps out blood and these CAR T cells, leukemia cells, they're in the blood. And so I thought it was really fascinating. I can actually listen to your cells interacting with each other inside your body. This is happening inside us probably every day, right? Every day cells trying to become cancer, but our immune system doesn't let them become cancer. So I think this was definitely exceeded my expectations. It's beautiful and I feel flattered because, you know, they used to work in, uh, in, in huge systems like planets, solar systems. And the fact that, uh, you know, through, through me and I'm sure others are able to see, well, uh, you know, there's this big movement at the cosmic scale but there's also a lot of movement inside our bodies like we are we are our own little universes and so I, i'm just flattered and just fascinated that you know i was able to to help them see that you know our cells you know they themselves also have you know movement and orbits and interactions and so to, to think that the same methods that they've used before you know to put sound music a beat to planets at such a big scale can be used also to put you know beats and, and rhythm to our own cells I, I think that that's just fantastic I, I have no words it's just it's just so cool